Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? If you've been with me for the last few weeks, then you know we've been drawing some of the classic cartoon villains of both film and TV animation. We're going to continue that, just not this week. This week, we're taking a small detour. Why? Because we can. Having just spent a weekend babysitting my grandson and watching The Secret Life of Pets 1 and 2 about 50 times, I'm making an executive decision. We're going to draw a couple of the characters from those movies. Today, we'll be drawing the lead character from both movies, Max the Dog, voiced by Patton Oswalt. Friday, we'll be drawing that awesome rabbit from both movies, Snowball, voiced by one of my favorites, Kevin Hart. Anyways, we're going to draw both of these characters in three different poses, building on the simple shapes used for both. Before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's draw Max the Dog from the Secret Life of Pets movies. <laughs> We're going to draw Max step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you watch any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In our three poses, Max is roughly two and a half heads tall. In other words, however tall his head is, his entire body is two and a half of those. Okay, so let's start with that roadmap for Max. So there's our roadmap for Max. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put Max's eyes, muzzle, mouth, and some of the other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. Okay, so let's rough out Max's features.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features for Max. Now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details of Max. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work to figure that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. Always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. So let's draw in the details for Max. Alrighty, there he is, the star of the Secret Life of Pets movies, Max. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Max before, then you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring Max during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Max. And with that, you can draw him again and again. And by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series, where I spend more time explaining the details and the things thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So I'd love to see your drawing of Max. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to join me Friday when we draw a snowball from the secret life of pets. Make sure you subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.